We will be completing the sieve of Aristosthenes to discover where prime numbers are. The first thing I want you to do is find three colors. Um, highlighters work best, but markers are fine as well. And then determine what colors you want to be your prime color and your composite number color, and then you're going to have an extra color for a very special number. So go ahead and if you are using a dark color, don't fill it in the way I did. Just go ahead and put a border on it. Um, but I'm going to use a highlighter so you can see through my color. So go ahead and figure out which color you want your prime numbers to be and which one your composites are going to be. And then that third color, we're going to go ahead and use to mark our number one. We discussed yesterday that one is neither prime nor composite because it only has one factor and that's a factor of one. So to be prime, we discussed that prime numbers have exactly two factors. So a good thing to put on your notes here under prime is exactly two factors. Oh, my pen's not working. Exactly two factors. So that means that composite numbers have more than two factors. So go ahead and get that written in your boxes so that you have a good understanding of what prime numbers are and what composites are. Now we're going to discover. Go ahead and grab your prime color. Mine's orange. And I'm going to fill in two with this color. Two is the only even prime number. That's because every other number that's even has a factor of two as well as one in itself, at least two. So we are going to get rid of or, or go ahead and highlight everything else. I'm going to use my yellow because that's my composite. Anything that ends in a two, four, six, eight, or zero is composite because it is divisible by two as well as the numbers in itself. And of course it can have other numbers it's divisible by, but um, this makes it really nice and easy because we can just go down the line and highlight anything that ends in a two, four, six, eight, or zero. These all have a factor of two, therefore they cannot be prime. So that means the next number is also prime, three. Go ahead and grab your prime color and highlight three. Then that means we need to get rid or, or highlight in our composite color the numbers that are multiples of three. So we talked about multiples in fifth grade and before that. So we can really just count by threes if you wanted to, but three, six, nine. Nine is not highlighted yet, so we need to go ahead and highlight nine. 10, 12, 15, we need to highlight 15, 18, 21. So if you notice, there's actually a pattern to these. Um, the first one will not be highlighted, but the next one, I mean, will be highlighted and the next one will not. So we have 30, but 33 won't be highlighted. So 36, but 39 is not highlighted. If you're not sure, multiples, you can just count. One, two, three, already highlighted. One, two, three, 45 should be highlighted. One, two, three, one, two, three. You can also check this with your divisibility rule. Five plus one is six, which is a multiple of three, so we, can, we know that we can divide that by three. One, two, three, notice that would be nine, five plus four, which is divisible by three. One, two, three. A lot of times people might think 57 is prime, but we just noticed that 5 and 7 make 12, which is a multiple of 3, so it is divisible by 3 if we were to divide it out. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 63, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 69, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 75. Also realize that 
these, some of these are odd numbers. That's okay. Some people just say, oh, all odd numbers are prime. Well, that's not true because we have some odd numbers that are divisible by three and seven and five and other numbers like 17, which are prime, but they can be divided into these numbers. So we have to make sure we know their composite. One, two, three, one, two, three, 81. Let's check and make sure we're on the right track. Eight plus one is nine, which is perfect. One, two, three, one, two, three, 87 will not be prime because it's divisible by three. One, two, three, 91, let's check it. Nine plus one, okay, I got off. 90 should have been it. Nine plus zero is nine, which is divisible by three. One, two, three, 93, which a lot of people think is prime. One, two, three, one, two, three, and 99 is divisible by three. So, so far, double check and make sure you have all the multiples of three highlighted. Let's go to our next prime number, which will be five. The only factors for five are one and five, so it is a prime number because it has exactly two factors. Now we need to highlight in our composite color everything that's divisible by five. Well, in our divisibility rules tell us that anything that ends in a five or zero are divisible by five. Notice our zeros are already highlighted because they are also divisible by two. But some of our fives are not highlighted, so we need to just go down this row and finish highlighting any of the fives that are not already highlighted. We are highlighting them because they are divisible by five, so they are no longer prime. Let's go to seven, that's our next prime number. And then here we're just gonna count by sevens. Maybe you know all your multiples of sevens to 100, maybe you don't. If you know the next one's 14, we already have that highlighted, make sure you change markers. Um, then we know 21's highlighted. Let's just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 28, right, seven times four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 35. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Most of these are already highlighted. Let's see if we can find one that's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 49. 49 wasn't divisible by anything other than seven so far. So we have to make sure we highlight 49. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's a great place to check yourself. 7 times 10 is 70. You should know that, so that's a great check. Now we need 77. That's a multiple of 11 and 7, so we need to get rid of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 91 is very often called prime by people when it's not because it is divisible by 7, so we need to make sure we get rid of it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have all of the other um, multiples of 7 done. The last thing we need to do is check our next prime number. Our next prime number is 11. And let's just double check that every number for 11 is already highlighted. If you know the trick for 11, it's, it's all the doubles. 11, 22 is a multiple of 11, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99. So those are done. That means that every single thing that's left to 100 is actually prime. So we're going to take our prime color and we are going to highlight all of the leftover numbers so that we can know all of the prime numbers between 1 and 100. There are some numbers larger than 100 that are multiples of 17 and only 17 and 19 and all these kinds of numbers, but we really want to focus on these numbers that are between 1 and 100. So once we have this done, we are gonna glue it into our notebooks. And you should be able to tell me how many numbers are prime between, between one and 100 when you are done with this activity.